Hey everyone and welcome back to this class, the NumPy stack in Python. In this lecture we are going to look at data frames more in depth. One question you might have is whether or not data frames work like two-dimensional NumPy arrays. You'll see in this lecture that this is definitely not the case. Let's suppose we want to access the element at position 0, 0 of the data frame. So typically we would do it like this. We can already see that doesn't work so we're having some trouble. One thing you can always do is just convert the data frame into a matrix. So M is equal to X as matrix. So let's check the data type to see what we got. So that's interesting. Even though the function is called as matrix, it actually returns a NumPy array. We saw earlier that there is actually a matrix data type in NumPy, but that we don't use it very often. So it's good that pandas just sticks to NumPy arrays. But let's go back to working with the data frame. Let's just try passing in 1, 0 to x. So this is really interesting. We got something back that has 100 values. In fact, what we actually got was the entire column of x where the column name is 0. So let's look at the first five values we have here. So remember these. And let's check x.head again. Okay, so we see those same five values. So we indeed got the first column of x. So remember this distinction. When we use NumPy arrays with square brackets, the first index gives us the row. When we use data frames with square brackets, we're only allowed one index. And that index is the column name for the column we're going to get back. So just out of interest, let's check out what data type x of 0 gives us. So we see that we get a completely different object type, a series. So pandas data frames are for 2D objects, and pandas series are for 1D objects. We've seen now how to get a column of a pandas data frame, which gives us a series. One question you might have now is, how do we actually get a row? There are two ways I'm going to show you iloc and ix, they both do the same thing. So let's say we want to get the zeroth row. One way would be like this. We can also do this. Notice that these are also a series. So anything 1D in pandas is a series. There are some more interesting selection mechanisms in pandas. For example, we can select more than one column at a time. Let's say I want the zeroth and the second column. So that would be x of 0, 2. So this gives me the two columns I wanted. I can also select specific rows based on some criteria. So suppose I wanted to find all the rows where the data for the zeroth column is less than 5. So that would be x of 0, less than 5. So you can verify that for every row returned, the column 0 value is less than 5. So the syntax is square bracket, select the column, and compare to some value. If we look at what we're actually passing in there, we can do just the middle part, x of 0, less than 5 we see that it's a 1D object of booleans, and it has the same number of values as x has rows. So let's check the data type of that. Of course, it's a series. Now here's what's really weird about this. We've already seen that the square bracket notation lets us choose columns. But oddly, when we pass in this series with the same number of rows as the data frame, we are selecting rows but both are using the square bracket notation. 